Well, there's a unique bond forming on a rural property in the Comox Valley between a Great Dane and a fawn. The young deer is an orphan, and the dog has become its surrogate mother. They live together happily in, a, in the Comox Valley, where a wildlife photographer is documenting their relationship and sharing it with the world. CTV's Gord Kerbis has their story. Usually, Isabel Springett is traveling the globe to get the shots she's after. The Comox Valley photographer runs a business capturing images of horses and sporting events. She also leads wildlife photo safaris. But three years ago, she found something in her own backyard that changed her life. We heard the crying. Never heard anything like that before. It sounds like a child. It's, it's heart-wrenching. It's terrible sound. The cries were coming from a young fawn she had photographed just days earlier. Isabel waited for three days for the mother to return for the abandoned fawn, but she never showed. Then Isabel brought the underweight fawn they're calling Pip into her home. I put her on the dog's bed and that was that. In an instant, instant she took mother. her. Instant mother, yeah. Case closed, end of story. <laughs> Instantly, her great dame Kate adopted the fawn, raising it as her own. The two have remained almost inseparable ever since. They have a relationship like nothing I've ever seen. They, it's not like another dog and Kate coming together. It's not like two deer coming together. It's definitely Kate and Pip and their special relationship that they have. Springett began documenting the bond between her dog and the deer. That led to people suggesting she post the photos and videos on YouTube. That's where they were discovered by a U.S. TV show. But suddenly Ellen DeGeneres discovered them and spread it around everywhere, and then it just went crazy. Uh, millions of hits, you know. Then I got a call from Animal Planet, Fuji TV, uh, a couple of other programs in Japan. I can't even remember all the things they've been featured on. Interest in the unlikely pair has now grown to the point where Isabel and her brother, a Toronto children's author, have created a book, Kate and Pippin, an unlikely love story. We had publishers arguing over who was going to have the book, and we finally got uh, Henry Holt in New York and Penguin of Canada, so that is something I never expected either. So. <laughs> the publishers, like Springett and her brother, know readers love a good animal story. I get so many emails from people saying, I had a terrible day today. I looked at your videos. I feel wonderful now. Thank you so much for doing this. That book should be out in April. Until then, fans of The Fawn and Friend will have to be content with following their ongoing exploits through their Facebook page. Kate and Pip, BFF. Gord Kerbis, CTV News in the Comox Valley.